You know, running a small business successfully can be difficult, but one Greensboro woman has this down, even during a pandemic. I asked Noni Penland about her decades-old successful framing shop and why it's still successful even in a pandemic. Well, I'm glad that you joined us today, Noni and Diane from uh, Penland Frame Shop. And, you know, you guys have been around a couple of years. Talk about longevity and why you think that is, Noni. Well, we have been here for 24 years at this location. And I've been a framer in Greensboro for 40 years. We closed on the 27th of March, mandated by the North Carolina government. And we are just now beginning to tentatively open our doors again on a part-time basis. We're hopeful, Eric. We're hopeful that our business will return. Diane, talk a little bit about working at one place for 22 years. I mean, basically, you've grown up with the business with Noni and and the role that the support team plays in, to make a business successful. Well, we make a really good team. Uh, I'm an artist, uh, got into framing because of my art and love framing as an art because that is what it is. We sell frames that are handmade, hand carved, hand leafed. They are a piece of art and then they're put on a piece of art. So it, it's really a wonderful experience. I'll bet that when you look at a painting, you're looking at the frame more than you are the painting when you go out in public. Uh, I used to be. Now I really love the art so much. I love the art. You know, so framing it is just a natural extension of it. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping in today. We appreciate it. Best of luck. You're going to do great, I'm sure. For We, we need you for 24 more years. You really need to check it out because their personalities, I got to be honest with you, that's probably 80% of their business success because they're so welcoming and loving and and, uh, and and it is art. Their framing is an art, which I didn't think of until they said that to me. If you want to visit the frame shop, they're on 712 West Market Street, right in downtown across from uh, Gr Guilford, Greensboro College, rather. And I've also linked you to her website from this story on WFMYNews2.com. Check that out.